Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Zero, and welcome back to the Cat Lady. Previously on the Cat Lady, we dealt with the Parasite, and then we went searching the rooms looking for clues of the location of the Eye of Adam. I didn't read this note before. From Flat One. We apologize for cluttering the hall. The removal company has been called and they will collect the sofa and chairs soon. We're sorry for the inconvenience, but we're sure you can put up with a few items for a bit longer. Just like we put up with your dog for all these years. The Morrisons. <laughs> Morrisons were all right. These radiators are some of the few remnants of the old days. Most have been taken off the walls. Those that are left have been been working for years. All right, pick the door. Tags. We've got to get rid of this dog somehow. It's been hung out here to dry a long time ago. We'll just borrow this rag. Okay, I think we're getting closer. Can't remove whatever I use as rag. Says Brian doesn't own a car, and every day he rides his bicycle to get to work. It's not just his pride and joy, but also his only means of transportation. I bet he'd be gutted if something happened to it. I think I can lure that dog out somehow, I just gotta think about it. I think I heard someone cough. He's home all right. Would you like to talk to him? Sure. I'll pretend I'm doing one of those customer surveys. Old people usually have time to answer lots of stupid questions. They just want some attention, Mitzi. Hello there, sir. If you could spare us just a few minutes of your time, we'd like to ask some questions about your internet service provider. I have no internet. I'm not interested. I don't have any money. Go bother someone else. Oh. But we're not trying to sell anything. It's just a little survey. What? Wait a second. I, I can't hear what you're saying, sweetie. Uh, let me get my hearing aid. Think he'll be back with a shotgun? Probably. Don't be silly. This isn't America. Whoa! Shots fired. Uh, I thought I heard someone. What did you want? Let's just get straight to the point. What can go wrong? Do you live alone? When you're an old man like me, you end up watching all your friends and family die. I'll be 85 this year. But I can still cook my dinner, and I make my bed every morning, all by myself. So, you do live alone then? Look, young lady, I don't need any help. I've told them already. I can manage just fine. I can still cook my dinner, and I make my bed every morning, all by myself. And not that it's any of your business, but when I die, I'll die in my own home, in my own bed. I'm honestly not trying to take that away from you. We're just here to ask about. I will not have anyone washing me, or, or dressing me, or feeding me. I can manage. I've done it all my life, and it'll stay this way. I can still cook my bed, and, and I make my dinner every morning, all by myself. Nah, uh, I think we've already found out what we need. Hmm. I'm just kind of curious. I'm going to try it anyway. Do you own computer connected to the internet? Say again? 
Right. Okay. Do you... I can't hear you very well, dear. You'll have to speak up. I'm an old man, you know. I'll be 85 this year. Do you have computer? Do you have a computer? There's no need to shout. I've got my hearing aids. I can hear what you're saying. Sorry. <laughs> a young, pretty lady like yourself wouldn't understand about old age. We live in two different worlds, dear. And if you're here to make fun of me, why won't you just go ahead and be done with it? No, no, with all respect, I... I just wanted to ask if you by any chance own a computer. Pardon? A computer! Wait a second, dear. I think I need to change the batteries in my hearing aid. I must have forgotten to switch them off last night. I'll be right back. No, wait! This didn't get anywhere. Jesus. I don't think I've got enough patience for this, Mrs. A. To be honest, the chances that he's our guy are pretty slim. I think we should go. Kath, this is pointless. Even if he did have a computer, he probably wouldn't even remember how to switch it on. Let's say goodbye quickly and try to look elsewhere. Can I help you? Not really. We were just going. What? I don't want to buy this. I told you before, I'm not interested. I don't have any money. Go bother someone else. Sorry to have bothered you, sir. We'll go now. I'll see you later, ladies. Next time I'll do the talking, yeah? He's tough. Wouldn't answer a single question. But he can't possibly be an internet whiz. Yep, he's just a lonely old man. Let's cross him off the list. That's the second one down. Unless he's just a very crafty old troll. Very possible. Uh, crank. How funny would that be if the crank went missing? He probably wouldn't even notice till the very last minute. And he's all ready to leave for work with no time to spare. It can't be done by hand. I need the right tool to remove it. Which I just conveniently have. That'll teach you not to mess with the cat lady. I'd love to see Brian Pinnell work with just one crank. But apart from that, I might actually find some use for it. What can I do with a crank? I don't know. I can hear someone walking inside. Brian's definitely in. No, I don't want to talk to him. There must be some other way we can get inside and check if he's who we were looking for. I'd really like to teach him a lesson. Show him I'm not someone he should be messing with. You don't want to mess with me. My cats will eat your face. So, what next? If only we could get rid of that woman and her dog. All right. Come on, guys. The party moved over here. Come, my pretties. Where are they? Mrs. A. They're going through their windows, aren't they? Oh, there they are. Well, aren't they quick? This dog is making quite a racket. Someone should complain to the owner, don't you think? Definitely. She should put that broom down for a minute and sort a dog out. All right. Hey, go handle your dumb dog. You've got a uh, you got a cat problem up there. Thanks to the cat lady. Your dog is making horrible noise. Can't you do something? It's 
probably because your wretched cats upset him again. Poor William. I'd better check on him. Yes, perhaps you better check on him. Watching a Monty sure Python skit. All right? Please, these cats can easily outrun some old mutt. Well, that's one way of handling the problem. Let's go loot her house. Get myself a nice broom. I'm going to push this cabinet out of the way. I remember there was a door behind it. It's too heavy. I don't think that's gonna work. Are you kidding me? I'll show you how it's done. Stand back. Cat powers! There. The door everyone's forgotten about. Wow. You're stronger than you look, Mrs. A. Yeah, perhaps I am. All right, now pick the mailbox. Do you think you can unlock this mailbox? I think I can most certainly unlock this mailbox. Then do it quickly. Someone can come in any minute. A little room for the master locksmith? Yeah, yeah. Really? Could you step away towards the stairs and turn around? Please? Just make sure if you see any Nintendo 3DS's from Amazon, I get first dibs. Master criminal, if anything. Done. Here's all the mail. Hide it in your pockets and let's get out of here. It was mostly junk mail and leaflets. I threw those away. Under the Joe. Hmm. It's from Dr. Frank Zellman. Wait a minute, I thought he was dead. It appears he's Joe Shrink. Apparently Joe failed to attend his weekly sessions recently. Well, well. It looks like Joe's just as messed up as I am. Or worse. Who knows? I should be the last to make judgments, really. Not here. Should be back any minute, and we'll be caught red-handed. We'll check out the basement real quick, and then we'll check out their apartments. So I thought Frank Zellman was the stereotypical Nazi doctor guy from Downfall. I could be wrong, I don't remember the names of everyone. But if that's the case, he clearly died in Downfall, so this might be a bit of a prequel to Downfall, actually. I could have been completely wrong, it's not a sequel at all. That would explain why his wife is still alive, if she is. Water supply for the whole building can be switched off here. There's no need to do that now, though. It hasn't been used for many years. All flats have central heating these days. I'll need a crank, which I conveniently have. It's filled with coal. Dirty stuff. Red. The color of blood. The lid is stuck. Try to paint us only it firmly like glue. I'll need some tool to pry it open. Coal. 
Quiet Haven Hotel. Never heard of it. What's this sign doing down here anyway? Oh. I think that was the hotel that Joe was from. Hmm. I think I've got an idea. I know how I could pay Brian back for all that he's done to me and the cats. Brian. The guy from Flat 6, right? Yes. Brian. That nasty piece of shit. He deserves to be punished, you know. And this wedding dress will be perfect for this. You ever heard the legend of the Cat Widow? The Cat Widow? No, can't say I have. Well, you're not from around here. But I'm sure Brian knows it. He grew up in this city, just like me. So, what's it about? It's an old story about a ghost cat who takes a human form to haunt her killer. Wow, that's pretty crazy, Mrs. A. Do you really think we can pull it off? Yes. Yes, of course. We just need to prepare. A good costume will do the job. This dress, we can alter it. We'll need some red paint, too. Are you sure about that? I promise this will work. And it will give us a chance to check his computer. If he's got one. Okay. So what do we need? Well, basically, we need three things. Tin of red paint. Red paint. There's a tin here. We could use that. The dress will make a great costume. We just need it in black. Also, it should look damaged. That's important. Cat Widow is a ghost, after all. I'll need some scissors for that. So, our plan is to become the Scooby-Doo villain? We need some kind of mask. I don't want him to recognize me, obviously. Seems that way. Suddenly the mystery gang will show up. Stop me from scaring him. I was just trying to scare my neighbor! And I would have gotten away with it too if it wasn't for you damn pesky kids. Strange. This wall looks fresh. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. Yep. Look, she left the door open. Do you want to check her flat? I'll stay here and keep watch. Good idea. I'll be as quick as I can. <laughs> Make sure you bring back her credit cards too while you're at it. It's not her. Whoops. I didn't find anything. No computers, no laptops, no telephone line. Okay, I'm not really surprised, are you? At least we can now cross her off the list. Three down. They're probably all not it. Let's go. I'll try to catch that thing for you, all right? So, what is it? It's a statue of a cat. How nice. So, there's another wacko obsessed with cats in this house. Lovely. Statue of Lucifer. A black porcelain cat with an open mouth. It wouldn't be out of place in my own flat, but I've probably got enough of these already. Must be a key in there. It seems there's something inside. It's a reference to how Lucifer swallowed the key and you had to gun him open before. There was a key inside the cat statue! What is strange hiding place? What happened to the good old doormat? I see I caught this statue only so you could smash it to pieces. Thanks. I don't remember asking you to catch anything. Alright. Let's see which skeletons are in Joe's closet. Do you want closet. to go in first? Oh boy. Joe is worshipping the chair cult. Come on in. The place seems empty. 
Maybe it's better that way. Watch out, Mrs. A. There's a massive hole in the floor. Just step around it. I'm not blind. Besides, I know it's there. We saw it from the floor below. Let's have a look around. There's got to be a computer here somewhere. I really don't like this place. Yeah. It's rather creepy. I wonder if we'll have to kill Joe. I wonder if he's gonna be considered a parasite. He was helped by the Queen of Maggots, but that was before he went full... ...dark side. Oh, Joe. Great. Bingo. We found what we were looking for. This laptop could be it, you know. Maybe Joe is our guy after all. No, no. It's a disaster. The power lead is missing. It won't switch on. Right. What a shame. Can we go now, please? I think I've seen enough. I don't need any more trouble. No, it's okay. I've got an idea. It seems it's a similar model to mine. I'll just go back to the flat and bring my power lead. I don't know. Are you sure this is gonna work? I think so. At least we'll give it a shot. Just stay here and I'll be back in a second. Hmm. It's a bad idea to stay alone, but I'm gonna do it anyway because I wanna poke around. Just hurry up. Yep. I'll just grab the power lead and run right back. It's just across the hall. I'll be back before you know it. I will count to a hundred. If you're not back, I'm out of here. I'll be back before you get to 75. Don't worry. Hey, I just remembered something that'll keep you busy. What's well, that? Gone. Think of a vegetable. You what? mean after I get smashed over the head Why? by Joe? To keep your mind occupied. I bet I can guess which vegetable you were thinking of when I'm back. So you're a mind reader now? No. This is just a little experiment of mine. Okay, whatever. Now go. I'm counting already. Why do I always end up in places like this? Breaking mirrors. I tried that myself. It didn't cheer me up somehow. Oh, I'm gonna go into the door 666. Oh. It's just a reference to Downfall, probably. No coats on the rack. Joe is probably wearing his coat wherever he is. It's cold this time of year. Above the desk, the wall is covered with pages pinned to the wall. They look like handwritten letters. Disgusting rotten food is scattered on the table. Looks like someone made a meal and barely even touched it. Careful now. That damn hole. Nearly forgot about it this time. Damn. The door handle just came off in my hand. How am I gonna get out of here now? Through door 666! Mitzi? Mitzi? Are you there? Shit. Just relax. Joe's a nice enough guy. Remember the hole, Susan. Shit. Jesus. I'm sure Joe will be fine and courteous to our his guest. You know, he, he's reasonable. He's not killing everyone. Right, great. Three sixes. Number of the beast. He probably keeps mutilated bodies of his victims there. On the other hand, I read once there was some other meaning to the three sixes too. Something really innocent. 
I can't remember now. It was a long time ago, and I've had other things on my mind. The water from the bath has completely flooded the bathroom floor. Not that I care. I just want to leave as soon as possible. Okay. A mannequin. In the bath. This guy's nuts. No doubt about that. It's dirty. Like everything else in this place. This must be the power lead that we need. Maybe luck's on my side today after all. That's not Mitzi. I don't see his wife anywhere. Oh, wait. What the? I've got to get out of here. Um, hi. Awkward meeting you here. I'll just leave and won't forget this ever happened. What? Jesus. No. You were not supposed to be here! Why did you have to ruin everything? What have you done? You stupid, evil bitch. Who are you? Uh, should I lie? I don't know. Uh, both of these are bad. Let's try being truthful and see what happens. I'm sorry. The door was open. I thought you moved out. You took her away, didn't you? What has she ever done to you? What? Look, sir, you are wrong. I just came here to find my cat. It's gone missing. Yeah, I see. That stupid cat. I've been looking for it too. The little bastard took off with my key. I'm gonna rip him to pieces. Don't want any trouble. Just let me go. I may happen to be Jackie Chan. It's a bad sign for you. I don't want any trouble. Just let me go. And I've got a gun. I can shoot you right there in your heart. It's not worth it, Joe. I've done you no harm. Of course, you haven't got a heart. Isn't that right? I... I have no idea what you're talking about. Listen, I've got to go now, all right? I'll slowly walk out of here, and you'll never see me again. The hole. Mitzi's not gonna come help. I just gotta defy it. Stay where you are. Don't come any closer. I would never hurt her. I only wanted to. I was trying to help for God's sake. Look, I don't care. I just want you to let me go. Get back here right now and give me that blasted key! Oh. Oh. That's gonna break my spine. So that's it for the cat lady, part 10. Well, we've met Joe again, and he seems to be the same as ever. I can't tell if this is a prequel or a sequel. I'm thinking it's a sequel. The whole Dr. Zellman thing makes me really confused when maybe Joe is so crazy he leaves old letters in his mailbox. I could actually see him doing that because his psychosis is so far gone and his delusions are so bad. That he might even think that Zellman's still alive, so he purposely puts a letter in his mailbox. So it seems like he's still 
meeting these people. So it's almost like a form of denial for him that he murdered all these people in Downfall. Anyway, so thank you all for watching and stay tuned. The Cat Lady, Part 11.